Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see here on our channel, on our website, or our social media. Reach out to me directly, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing one of the sensations of Basel World 2013, still a killer chronograph in ceramic dial and case. This is the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch Dork Side of the Moon. Ceramic inside and out, the watch is primarily ceramic and sapphire, which means despite the 44.25 millimeter size, it's incredibly light. 16.2 millimeters thick means this isn't one to hide underneath the cuff, but 49.7 millimeters lug to lug means this watch actually wears pretty well on a small wrist. The spacing between the lugs is a modern and broad 21 millimeters, so it has a nice proportional stance. And on my wrist of 16 centimeters circumference, you can see it fits well. There's your down the barrel shot. You can see how much clearance I have on each side. There's the cuff shot. It's hard to fit underneath a tight cuff, but jackets should be okay. And then that's the overhead. I wouldn't recommend this watch for a wrist smaller than 14 to 15 centimeters circumference because it is large, but down to 14, you should be able to wear it well, even if the look is going to be large and stark, the fit should be outstanding due to the lightness and the short lug-to-lug -lug distance. The strap is interesting because you can see it's calfskin with a contrasting red stitch on the bottom, and then it's bolstered to give it some volume and thickness, and it's textile on the top. Now, there's a gusset built in to prevent the gouging of the strap itself and long-term durability. There's also a thoughtful refinement that you will not find on many ceramic watches, and that is a matching ceramic pin buckle, and both pin and buckle are ceramic to avoid scratches. That's where most companies, and I'm thinking of Hublot here, would give you some sort of a PVD steel or titanium component that could scratch. No, that buckle is as scratch resistant as the case itself. And you can see with the entire case as well as the bezel being ceramic, this is a watch that's probably never going to show any defect, scratch, or swirl in the entirety of your ownership. And as you can see, Omega, technically impressive, has finished the case the same way it would a steel moon watch. Satin finish on the flank and then a polished bevel with a polished lip to the bezel itself. And then as you can see on the top, it has a polished top and little recesses featuring the calibrations of the tachymeter, which can be used in conjunction with the chronograph seconds hand to gauge the speed of, for example, a race car. Now, the dial is also made of ceramic, and you can see the chemical formula for, for ceramic zirconium oxide just above the cannon pinion. It is a triple register chronograph with a three register mono counter, seconds, minutes and hours. And the way this mono counter works is it preserves the twin register look, which is handsome, balanced, and uncluttered, but it gives you the chronograph minutes and hours on one register and the seconds at the center. Now, of course, the watch features a vertical clutch, which means it engages without any stagger or jump. It also means you can leave the chronograph running full time with no additional wear, tear, or damage. All applique indices and hands, and you can see that there is a time zone function that allows you to adjust the hour hand independently. And note that I can even adjust the date forward or backwards depending on whether I'm traveling east or west. It does feature a hacking or stop seconds function. There we go, I got it dug in my nail. Stopping the watch allowing you to synchronize to a reference time. Now I mentioned the vertical clutch and the advantages that come with it, but I should also mention that there is a crisp column wheel. The column wheel allowing for sharp, tactily pleasing, and quite loud actuation of the chronograph. You hear it, you feel it. It's the feel of quality. Bi-directional automatic winding, twin mainspring barrels for even torque release and consistent amplitude. And you get a 60 hour power reserve, five position adjustment, COSC chronometer. You also have an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring and you have a full balance bridge with a free sprung index to better tolerate shock. If you look down, you can see the tri-level coaxial escapement, which is both a direct and indirect impulse escapement. Originally invented by George Daniels of Britain in 1974, industrialized by Omega in 1999, and today on this caliber 9300, it is both accurate and tough, effectively an answer to a challenge Rolex had yet to pose, as Omega created what was undoubtedly the most advanced escapement you could buy for under $50,000 back in 1999 when it created the coaxial. It beats away at a quirky 25,200 vibration per hour beat rate that you don't see on too many watches. So even at a beat rate level, this watch is ex exceptional. All of this 50 meters water resistant, you can see it's handsome, machine finished but original and attractive, as we have Arab best Cote de Genève across rotor and bridges, and then we have blackened rather than polished or blued screws with engine turning on the base plate. It is a good looking watch. 
Feather light, almost indelible and scratch resistant, beautifully loomed, and technically still a highlight even seven model years later. This is the Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch Dark Side of the Moon. Email tmasa with thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the Omega Dark Side of the Moon. Note the loomed chronograph seconds hand.